So brother, my my brother Nikhil um, survived an, a fatal accident six years ago, and uh, he survived, um, you know, brain damage. He survived, um, you know, when people said that something was terribly wrong with him, and uh, but but physically he looked perfectly fine, but spiritually you could see him going darker and darker and darker. Six years, brother, six years. I could see him you know, spending his time um, condemning anger, uh, uh, abusive language, name it, and he was into it. I, I, I could see, and, I, and there was nothing I could do at that point of time because I didn't have the knowledge. I, I would say, I would pray, I would beg, but I could not see results. And, 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 and I was working on Thomas' faith all this while. And because of that Thomas' faith, I mean, I have no regrets. I have no regrets because I can see what has happened today. But with that Thomas faith, six years passed with nothing happening. I would only wait and say, okay, someday, and I would say someday he will be fine. Someday he would be fine. And that was the kind of hope that I was giving my parents. But early this year, brother, this year, um, something, just, just the Holy Spirit, I won't say something, the Holy Spirit just out of the blue, Ryan and me decided to make an agreement prayer because during our prayer time, we would pray for, um, declare for our family members. But there was something very strong this time when, uh, when we declared for my brother, especially because we could see him getting into the dark. And um, we, uh, we agreed that he is going to be, I mean, I didn't use these words, but today, because everybody will understand, I would say, you know, pick him from the pit and put him on the pulpit. And I visioned it. I could vision my brother standing on the pulpit, standing there high on the pulpit and preaching preaching and i could see that glow on his face i could see i could see him using scriptures which though he would say uh, you know he knew he, he actually read the bible he would he read the bible but he read the bible bible and he was speculating oh the christians were like this and they were like this and he, he knows, you know, he knew everything in the Bible and he would relate it to history and you could have, and he would have arguments with people. I mean, he was so good because he's extremely intelligent by himself. He can learn things and he, and he can remember things and he, you know, he's got that kind of a mind. I mean, he's gifted, he's actually gifted, but he was using it for, for wrong things. So after this agreement prayer, um, hardly few months brother and then we got into the lockdown and that's when we uh, we got on hooked on to zoom and when we got hooked on to zoom the within the first the first few days itself there was a revelation call him up every day speak to him and uh, you know uh, you know what we do brother sometimes because of the lockdown we uh, decided to you know break bread at home so we decided to do it as a family with my brother and my dad involved so we would take the you know a glass of water and say this is the blood of Christ, and we would drink that that water. So that was happening every day. Along with that, we we took a couple of scriptures and we started saying reciting those scriptures. And from the white book, we were we were, uh, we were confessing worry and fear along with that. So it happened for the first few days. The next the next thing is I called him one uh, one uh, on another day and I told him. Uh, of uh, Nikhil, uh, Jesus, uh, you know, I, I because it was very difficult to communicate with him because he was always in a state of anger. If you would say something and it would not, you know, settle in his mind, it would it would backfire. It would actually backfire. And I could see him struggling with it because sometimes when you would speak to him, he would have such an open mind. He would receive the word, but immediately the next day you could see him back again in the same in the same pit. In the same pit, he would he would play extremely violent games. He was awake the whole night playing those violent games about I don't know how many hours because um, ever since the accident, he had lost his confidence. That's what I would say now. And um, and uh, he was only at home. He, he had tried a lot of different things in between and everything just fell apart. Um, he lost all his friends. So he was literally living in the dark, confined in the four walls of my home. And I could see that happening. Now I can see... Now, with the word and with the knowledge, I could see the light. I could see the light. I could see the light in his room. I could see the light where on that computer that he would sit. It started with the internet being um, uh, very unstable in that house. 
suddenly the internet started getting unstable so much so that he can't play his games because he would play online games so the internet started getting yes, unstable right. and with the internet getting unstable i was able to speak to him every day we would speak we would uh, we would confess and after that i would start getting revelations revelations of um, i would at times i would be like oh, i wonder if this is really the word of god but then i but then i would i would still be obedient to that word that i heard and i would apply it on him and uh, we changed from concerning worry and fear we went on to wisdom and guidance we started confessing wisdom and guidance every day and uh, there was one particular day i called and i decided to break um, you know uh, because in our family um, my uh, my side of the family as my dad's family all the boys they seem to have um, uh, none of them were married and uh, uh, there were there were some ill things happening so i decided when remember brother you broke um, the generational curse when i had given my testimony and yeah. i used those same words and i broke the generational curse there and uh, and um, and uh, i made him understand what exactly generational curse is what what exactly was happening and um, i started talking on faith and he could see things happening with me because whenever we would speak together there would be um, a clash like i would i would get angry he would get angry and then it would be like you know i would be firing him because i'm the older sister <laughs> so i would be firing him and uh, and it would end up into nothing but over these past 3 months i i myself was amazed with the way i was uh, communicating with him and the kind of uh, it was not a prayer of pleading it was declarations it was using the word of god um um literally and i would say i'm wearing the armor of god i have the armor of god with me and and every time i would speak to him um you know i would be uh, giving him every, all all the teachings that were happening out i'll be talking to him after that there was another revelation because i remember you telling uh, everyone that people who listen to my teachings and make notes you will see a change in them i took it into my heart i decided to call him and i said nikhil i need your help now since we are in the panel brother johnson wants us to you know make notes and uh, share it with people so i need help making the notes because i cannot sit and make the notes continuously so he helped me he started listening to your teachings brother five days there was an absolute change he got so hooked on if you see the notes that he wrote brother you'll be amazed it, they, they are transcripts they're not even notes they are transcripts from the time who spoke what with scripture in in uh, whether it's from amp kjv or niv everything including that and word to word five days brother five days he's hooked he's absolutely hooked internet issues okay internet issues were still happening but in those in that short uh, period he would listen to as much as possible and make notes that happened while uh, while uh, uh, speaking to him just two or three days two days back another revelation don't say wisdom and gu- uh, guidance speak in tongues brother five minutes of speaking in tongues with him five minutes yesterday today you know today he gets back today is the first time he got back today saying that um, god i got a i got a word from god and i understood something so i was quite surprised because normally he he doesn't talk that way and he gave me jeremiah 79 and he said um, it is about the heart about the deceit in the heart and uh, he saying i know what's in my heart now it's anger and um, i i i am i'm working on it i'm going to um, i'm i'm searching for scriptures but the internet is down brother immediately agreement prayer all over again i i i i'm i must have been like in a i don't know a, a state of trance i was like this is it he has realized because until that person comes up and says i need help and i know that this is my problem and i need to resolve my problem when you mention about abraham abraham faith brings you to correction this is what it is this was the correction that i had to see and he said this is my anger that stops me from speaking to people from getting out of the house from uh, you know doing so much so from there brother one hour of talking to him breaking the uh, you know commanding the spirit of anger to get out because along with the spirit of anger the spirit of strife the spirit of ego pride everything was out from a roaring lion today i saw him as a lamb brother as a lamb respected god 
and i'm telling you i i don't know from the time i was sitting here i was i was i was telling everyone i was i'm walking on air because six years of seeing my brother I was literally holding onto the chains so, so he doesn't fall deeper and deeper but today i could just pull him out from with the chains and bring him into the garden and i see it happening and i know and i know he is a changed person in mute hey man hey man that's what happened today What a blessing! Praise you, Jesus. Praise so, God. So, so Thank Natasha, you, Jesus. So, Natasha, God has given you that uh, platform to sit over there. So now it's your turn to talk to every brother, every sister who is going through the same. That, and we are here to agree with you. Go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for that amazing, amazing, amazing testimony that I saw today. Thank you, brother, for getting my brother. My thank you, father, for getting my brother back from the pit, and I see him on the pulpit now. And I and I, Lord, share the same anointing with all the brothers and sisters all over the world today. And this agreement prayer, Lord, is not with one or two people; is with a band of believers, band of believers, Lord. <laughs> Your warriors who are who are here who are going to agree, and we know and we know, Lord, that the change is happening right now. The brother or sister, parent, child, husband, wife, all the relationships, Lord, whatever, whoever who are in the pit today from addiction, from uh, from anything negative that does not belong to your kingdom, Lord. we draw them out in your mighty name lord jesus we draw the chains from the darkness into the light into your light lord jesus and i know and i know it's already done i believe and i claim and i know it's done lord jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you lord praise you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you lord praise you thank you jesus thank you jesus amen 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 we believe amen. we believe yes. amen We believe it in the name of Jesus. It's done. It's done. It's done. It is done. It is done. Amen. Amen. It is done in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 And amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. So, actually speaking, Natasha was saying previously I would find faults and I would get into anger because anyway I'm the elder sister. Just because you're elder doesn't mean we are. I'm the youngest man. <laughs> so the elder sister will bash the younger brother all the time but then she realized that all that did not help her so now when she operated in agape love saying i don't find any fault in you brother i love you the way you are everything yes. changes yes huh? praise god yes 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 okay go ahead and we'll all contribute in this prayer come on Thank you, Heavenly Father, our King of Glory. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's typing. She's typing, and then okay. we will. Just she's typing. Okay. I'll go slow. I'll okay. go very slow. Okay. Then, then we will add some words and do the editing, yeah. and we'll come up with Holy Spirit okay. will give us a fantastic prayer. Yeah, go ahead. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, our King of Glory. We believe and we claim. your providence and promises jesus said in matthew 18 19 18 19 to 20 that if two of two of you agree on earth about anything they ask for it will be done for them by my father in heaven for when can you, you say that all again sister just sorry can you say that again because she's typing So we've got the three. Thank you, Heavenly yes. Father, yes. our King of Glory. We believe yes. and we claim your promises of glory. And your promises. And your promises. As you said in Matthew. Eighteen. As you said in Matthew. Eighteen nineteen. She said she'll type it later from the video. Okay. That if two of you. on earth agree about anything that they ask for it will be done for them by my father in heaven where where two or three are gathered in my name i am with them 
And then, Lord, you mentioned again in Mark 11, 24, whatever, whatever we ask for in prayer, believe that we have received it and it is ours. So, Lord, in faith, we declare that our families, our families near and far, our extended families, their hearts are fertile to receive and sow the seeds of your love, of your word. I believe that you're using us and all the laborers you have ordained, Lord, as your instrument to spread your word and the sower of your seeds. Thank you, Father, that through Jesus' finished work on the cross, we are righteous in your eyes. We cancel every, every negative word and break every ancestral curse from our families and our extended families and their descendants and wash them completely with your blood, Lord, from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. We bind the spirits of strife, of ego, of anger, of deceit, of infirmity from them in your mighty name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you will teach us Teach them all the things and remind them of everything that Jesus taught, as you have mentioned in John 14, 26. We are blessed and we are protected because you are always with us and no evil will befall us. All this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.